sobering news for New Yorkers. The situation is worse than first thought, with the coronavirus rate of infection doubling every three days. We were looking at a freight train coming across the country. We're now looking at a bullet train because the numbers are going up that quickly. The governor says the White House has not prioritized health to the state that needs it the most. New York has 25,000 cases. It has 10 times the problem that California has, 10 times the problem that Washington state has. You prioritize resources and your activity and your actions to where they are needed. New York will need 140,000 hospital beds to care for the ill. They currently have 50,000 available. New York City's largest convention center has been converted into a makeshift hospital. But it won't be enough. New York is also exploring converting colleges and hotels to hospitals as well. Recently retired nurses and doctors are being asked to come back to help fill the need. And globally, ventilators are in short supply. New York now needs 30,000. The governor urged the White House to send him thousands more that the federal government has in storage and that are not being used. As for the streets, they remain mostly empty of both people and cars. New York is essentially on lockdown. And given the increased cases of coronavirus, it likely will remain like this for at least many weeks to come. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.